Hello everyone and welcome to Nervous Nessie. Uh, today I have another announcement and if I bring out my map of the United States cross stitch, you know what that means. It's time for another trip. That's right, I am going on another trip. Uh, this one is kind of different. Um, so as you can see, I have filled in a lot of this map. Uh, this past year, it just amazes me how many states I've been to. I basically got to fill in the entire eastern seaboard in two trips, uh, but as you can see, for this map, I'm missing eight states. I really wanted to try and get them as many as possible in one trip, but I wasn't able to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fly into, sorry, it's kind of hard to see this upside down. <laughs> I don't want to point to the wrong states here. So we're just going to get this that I'm missing. I am going to fly into Dodge City, Kansas, and I am going to stay there for, I believe, two nights. But on the second night, I get up really early and I take the train from Dodge City, Kansas through Missouri. So I get to knock that off and into Chicago. Now, of course, I've been to Chicago already. Uh, but I will go to Chicago. I will be there for, I believe, two days. And then I will get on the train in Chicago and I will go to Michigan. I am specifically going to Port Huron, Michigan, because I also have a goal of seeing all five of the Great Lakes and Lake Huron is one of the ones I'm missing. I'm also missing Lake Superior. The other three I've seen. So I will be going to Port Huron, Michigan. I will be there for, I believe again, two days. And then I will get back onto the train and go back to Chicago. I will be in Chicago for, I believe, two days and then I will fly home. Um, I originally wanted this trip to be that when I got back to Chicago, I got on the train and went through Iowa, Nebraska, and into uh, through Colorado and into Utah and fly back from Utah, but they did not have a room available for that train. So I decided I'll split this up into two trips. This one trip where I go through these states and another trip where I go across into Utah. Um, in Dodge City, I will be staying in an Airbnb because they do not have hostels there. In Chicago, I will be staying at the same hostel I stayed in last time I was in Chicago. Um, Yes, there were some quirky things about that hostel that I didn't particularly like. I didn't like the fact that it was near a hospital so that I heard sirens, but the location of that hostel is perfect. It's like a mile from the Amtrak station. It's a short five, 10 minute walk from the subway and it's right there at Millennium Park. So I am going back to that hostel. Uh, not gonna do a full review of the hostel because I've already done that. But if anything has changed at the hostel, I will shoot video for that. Um, then in Port Huron, I am doing an Airbnb there as well. Funny little story. So when I was booking everything for this trip, I had zoomed in on the map of Port Huron and I saw, uh, you know, all the little spots where all the Airbnbs were. And I saw one that was very inexpensive. I was like, great, had great reviews. So I booked it. Luckily, 
Now, with Airbnb, they do have some Airbnbs where you can book it and it immediately goes through and you're booked, you're locked in. Then there's some that whoever is hosting the Airbnb has to approve you. And luckily this was one of the ones that I had to be approved because once I got the confirmation of, you know, I'm waiting for approval, I looked at it and I saw the address and I realized I had booked an Airbnb in Canada, <laughs> which is fine because I have a passport, but I'm walking and I'm taking public transportation. So for me to be constantly crossing the border is going to be a huge hassle. Um, luckily I did reach out to the guy and I said, Hey, please deny me because I didn't realize you were in Canada, but in Port Huron, there is a river that comes down through and one side of the river is the United States and the other side of the river is Canada. And I had zoomed in so far that it didn't show me that there was a line there separating the two countries. So if you're ever going to be staying near a border, double check the address before you book it. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited about this trip. Uh, Dodge City, Kansas is going to be a blast because that is where like Wyatt Earp, Doc Holliday, the Wild West, all of that happened in Dodge City. And in my research, I have found that it's going to be very interesting. Um, Port Huron, they have lighthouses and just all kinds of things to see there. In Chicago, I am, I do have things booked and I am going to show you completely different things to do in Chicago. So you'll want to watch the, the days, the videos for the days that I am in Chicago because it's not going to be the same thing. I probably won't even go back to Millennium Park because I won't have time because I'll be going all over the rest of Chicago showing you everything else. Um, I have decided, so each trip that I take, I give it a name. Uh, I had my Portland to Chicago cross country trip. I had obviously my Alaska trip. I had the East Coast trip and my New England trip. And this trip, because I'm flying into Kansas and then getting whisked away across the country, this is going to be my Wizard of Oz trip. That is what I'm going to refer to it as. So yes, I am going to be going on my Wizard of Oz trip and taking all of you with me. If you want to know when those videos come out, then subscribe to the Nervous Nessie channel. If you liked this video, then give me a thumbs up and I look forward to seeing everyone in the next video where I will be going to Dodge City, Kansas. Until then, bye!